Not all cats make the greatest bedfellows, but their own comfort needs should be respected. Animal Wise explains how to make a cat sleep in their own bed. Choose the perfect bed. One of the most important considerations is size. Cats need space to turn around and stretch out, but most cats don't like their bed to be too big either. The material from which the bed is made is also very important. We recommend giving preference to easy to wash beds as it helps remove bad odours and microorganisms that can cause disease. Ensure it has sufficient cushioning such as high density foam padding and cave or igloo beds are also ideal. Discover the best place for your cat to sleep with the info video we share above. Create a conducive environment for sleep. Place the cat's bed in a warm room or space which receives sunlight but which is not exposed to weather such as wind, rain or cold. It should be near a suitable heat source in winter. If you recognise your cat feels comfortable in a certain place, try not to change it as it can harm the adaptation period for your cat. Provide an alternative. It is normal for cats to change position and location between naps. If you don't want your cat to climb up on the couch or sleep in your bed, we recommend setting up a second rest area, preferably somewhere up high. A very easy and economical option is to affix a stable shelf or a type of resistance support on a wall placed at a good height. Add a cushion or a second bed where your cat can rest in safety and observe their surroundings. Use positive reinforcement. You can leave treats, toys or even a blanket from your bed to help acclimatise your cat to their own and help them feel secure. When they start using the bed on their own, use positive reinforcement to acknowledge their effort. In addition to treats, you can also use words of encouragement, petting and even games to reward them. This motivates the cat to continue their good behaviour. If you have recently adopted a cat, give them a treat during the first few days when they use the bed. When you see they start to feel uncomfortable, wean them off treats but continue to support them. This means only offering treats some of the time when they sleep in their own bed, do so until it finally becomes an ingrained habit. Eventually, you can use this method for other aspects of their education and learning. If you like this animal wise video, remember that a super thanks can help us continue creating the content you enjoy. Don't punish them. Never punish, scold or physically strike your cat if they jump on your bed to sleep. This is not only cruel, but it is counterproductive to the task at hand. Shouting at the cat will only make them feel insecure and lead to the development of unhealthy behaviours. You can use a firm no to stop them, but then use positive encouragement methods to carry out the desired behaviour as described before. Earn their trust. If you've recently adopted a cat, earning their trust is your main priority in terms of education and care. Don't force them to interact or explore until they feel comfortable with you and their new environment. If you notice your kitten behaves in a fearful or nervous manner, you can consult a veterinarian or even use pheromones to help them feel at ease. Keep them well stimulated. If you want your cat to sleep in their own bed and give you peace at night, make sure they have an enriched environment where they can expend energy and entertain themselves during the day. In the next info video above, we share the information you need to improve your cat's environmental enrichment. Spending some time each day playing with your cat will not only help tire them out, but will also allow you to nurture a relationship based on affection and mutual trust. With enough patience, you will eventually get your cat used to sleeping in their bed. It's essential you observe them to understand their own tastes and preferences in order to guide their behaviour and improve coexistence. Are you having trouble getting your cat to sleep in their own bed? Let us know how you get on and we'll see you next time.